Greetings all and welcome to the channel. Just a bit of an update video today on the MSI Claw, which is currently available for pre-order on sites like Newegg and directly from MSI. For those unfamiliar, the MSI Claw made its entry into the handheld gaming scene last year at the CES Technology Show, where many reviewers got hands-on experience with it. Its main draw card is the fact that it is powered by the new Intel Core Ultra processor. If you've been following the channel, you will have seen my video on it. If not, check the description for a link, as I will not be going into detail about the specs on the unit. I will also leave a link at the end of the video. With this video, I rather want to look at the price differences and answer questions like which model I think you should pre-order, and whether or not it is worth choosing the claw over a competitor like the ROG Ally or Lenovo Legion Go that are powered by the AMD Z1 Extreme processor. Stay till the end for my verdict on that. The claw is currently available for pre-order on Newegg and MSI directly, with a shipping date set for between 12 and 15 March. But some of the models seem to be out of stock already, as at the time of this video. On Newegg, only the Ultra 7 1TB unit and the Core Ultra 5 unit is available, with the Ultra 7 512GB unit out of stock. But on MSI's webpage, only the entry level unit is available at the moment, with the Ultra 7 units out of stock. So it looks like you will have to pre order quickly if you want a unit as soon as possible. I will leave links in the description below. I'm glad to see that the unit is competitively priced though. The Ultra 7 unit with the 1 terabyte of storage space is going for $799, with the 512 gig version at $749. Lastly, the entry level Core Ultra 5 unit comes in at around $699 with the 512 gigs of storage. All the models have the same amount of RAM, so the real question I think people will most likely have is whether the Ultra 7 unit will have enough of a performance increase to justify the extra $50 or $100. I did some research, and if we look at the synthetic benchmarks on nanoreview.net, we see that they are almost identical, with the 7 only pulling slightly ahead in the iGPU tests. The folks at Top CPU ran benchmarks with Cinebench, Geekbench, and Passmark, and the 7 has a lead of mostly 3-5%, except in the multi-core Geekbench tests, that shows it has a 13% lead. So from these, we could deduce that the 7 is only slightly more powerful than the 5. These are however probably based on tests in laptops that had these processes and not on handheld PCs. Many people will not put much faith in these synthetic benchmarks as well, as their scores are dependent on what type of other hardware the machine has that the CPUs are tested on, and even on the same hardware the scores can differ from time to time. In my personal opinion though, these are good enough to give you a ballpark idea of what performance you are going to get. If you prefer more specific testing though, you will have to wait until some reviewers have had a proper opportunity to test a retail unit with some AAA games. Based on the aforementioned results though, it seems to me as if the performance difference between the two is minimal, and I don't think you will realistically be able to see the difference when playing games. So if it were me, I would opt for the model with a Core Ultra 5 processor, and use the extra $50 for an accessory like a case, screen protector, or a bag. That's just my two cents though. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let's take a break before we carry on. So tell me, what do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear, of course. I hope you enjoyed that bit of comedy on the go. But on to the other question I said I would discuss earlier, which is whether or not I think it is worth buying the claw with its Intel-based processor over a handheld with an AMD processor. Both the Asus ROG Ally and the Lenovo Legion Go have entry-level units with 512 gig storage and 16 gigs of RAM, that sells for around $700 depending on where you look. The Ally and the Legion Go feature the AMD Z1 Extreme processor. Synthetic benchmarks show that the Z1 and the Ultra 5 trade blows in terms of performance, but the Ultra 5 shows significantly better performance in the multi-core Cinebench test. And while I couldn't find any gaming benchmarks comparing the Z1 to the Ultra 7 and 5 processor, I did manage to find some on Notebook Check that use the AMD 7840U processor, which is in every way identical to the Z1 Extreme. As we can see on Notebook Check, they have the same amount of cores, clock speed, the same amount of cache, and critically, the same iGPU chip. If we look at the benchmarks, we can see that the Ultra 7 outperforms the 7840U by about 50% in The Witcher at high settings. Similarly, in Far Cry 5 at low settings, the Ultra 7 shows a 19% lead on the AMD chip. In fact, the only place where the AMD chip was able to beat the Ultra 7 was in Dota 2 Reborn at low settings, 
But in the same game, at high settings, the Ultra 7 managed to perform 12% better. I'm a bit skeptical though. Maybe it's just the defiant AMD fanboy in me, but I don't want to just take this one site's word for it. I would rather wait to see the results of real world testing on the claw before I choose it over an AMD option. So while the MSI claw shows promise with its Intel Core Ultra processor and competitive pricing, you may want to wait for more comprehensive reviews before making a final decision between it and the AMD options out there. As promised, if you want to dive deeper into the features and specifications of the MSI Claw, check out my previous video on the topic by clicking on the link on screen now. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech updates. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.